Download links to the files created in this video are in the description. To get started, let's set up our document. Go to File, Document Properties, set the display units to Pixels, uncheck Show Page Border, and for this document I want to change the background color to this shade of pink. Close the background color, close document properties, and let's get started. Go to create circles, ellipses, and arcs, and let's click and drag to create a circle while pressing control. So let me just control Z. So press control, then click and drag to create a circle. Then let's go to object, fill and stroke, and it's got a flat fill, that's fine. Stroke paint is a flat color. Stroke style, one pixel. Let's reduce the opacity to about 50%. and change the color to black. Next, let's uh, switch to the Select and Transform Objects tool. Then come over to the Object Properties on the menu and click the Proportional Scaling Padlock so that the ratio and the, of the width and height stay the same. Then give it a width of 200 pixels and let's hover over the circle and scroll while pressing Ctrl to zoom in. And then we want to press Ctrl D to duplicate the circle. Give the width, give the duplicate a width and height of 100. And let's come to the snap controls. Enable snapping. Snap nodes, paths, and handles. Snap cusp nodes including rectangle corners. Snap other points. Uh, snap items rotation center. And lastly, snap smooth nodes. Then click and drag the smaller circle and snap it onto the top of the bigger circle. Then Ctrl D to duplicate it again. Drag it down to the bottom and I want it to snap to the bottom here and then control and zoom out control D to duplicate it again then give the duplicate a width and height of 50 pixels and click and drag it and snap it onto the lower circle, Control D to duplicate that smaller circle and come and snap it onto the center of the top circle. Then let's click on the largest circle and come to Create Circles and Ellipses and then go into the Circle Properties and on the start value, let's enter the number 90. Then come to the end value and enter 270. And that will turn the large circle into a half circle. Next, let's switch to Select and Transform Objects. Then shift and click on the larger top circle. And come to Path, Union. And that will join the half circle and the bigger of the top circles. Then Shift, click 
on the larger lower circle while the big object is selected and come to path difference and now we are starting to get the shape of our of our yin yang symbol next let's shift and click on the smaller circle inside the, our object and go to path difference and now it's subtracted from our object and we're left with the smaller circle so we can shift and click on that and we want to join them together into an object so go to path union now that they want an object we can duplicate them so control D to duplicate them then click on the object one more time to reveal the rotation handle the rotation handles are these curved arrows at the corners so once they are there hover over one click and drag on it to rotate the shape and press control and snap it at 180 degrees the angle will be at the bottom of your screen then click and drag until it snaps on like that then let's click outside of everything and drag a bounding box over the circle of the yin and yang symbol and let's come to the opacity and bring it back up to 100% then click on the side and click once on one of the objects and let's give it a fill a white fill and then click on the side again so we can see our finished yin yang symbol and that's it links to the file links to the files created in this video are in the description thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching again <laughs>